Hi guys and welcome to this new video where I'm going to introduce you a new class Zone Capture Coalition. I've taken as a background team for this class the battle that happened at Waterloo between Napoleon and Wellington in my country Belgium and uh, well it kind of illustrates zone capturing what that means in terms of the class mechanisms. Let's let's go further. So zone capture coalition is basically take action on zone occupation of a coalition. And what that means is there's a zone and the zone has state and has events. State means that you got four different possible states that a zone can be in. A zone has an ownership that means it can be colored red because it's occupied by the red coalition or it can be colored blue by the blue coalition. The first state is guarded which means that there is a red unit within the zone and is guarding the zone. Attacked means that beside the red unit there is a blue unit within the zone and that means the zone is being attacked. Empty means that although the zone is of the red or blue coalition there is no unit of that coalition within the zone and there is no unit of another coalition within the zone. And captured means that there's a transition from the empty state or from the guarded state into a captured state and what that means is the transitioning of the owning coalition in this case from red to blue because a blue unit has driven within the empty zone and the blue unit is the only unit within the zone currently present. This graph models the zone capturing process and the zone capturing process is basically a state machine where you got the light blue boxes which represent events and the white boxes which represent states and this graph shows the different states that the zone uh, capture coalition can have and how it can transition through the events being fired by the class so in the beginning a zone can be guarded or a zone can be empty and can be owned by a coalition when the zone is guarded, it can become empty because, you know, one of the units can be disappeared, can be destroyed, or it can get into a attack state, meaning that another coalition has entered the zone. But once it gets empty, it can be captured and gets, can get into the captured state. Once it is captured within the captured state, that means that the owning coalition is transitioned and get, we can get back to the guarded state, but then of the other coalition. Now, the most important thing that you need to remember is all of this is governed by the zone capture coalition class. This whole state transition is done in the background. But you have the capability to capture, and say to catch those state transitions at certain moments within the logic, and you can add your own logic you can do other stuff once a state transition happens. And this is the, the great feature. So what you do is you build a function of an object zone capture coalition in this case, and you say, for example, on enter captured, you know, do this logic. And this is great. Any action is possible. So let's get into a little bit the scripting of how this thing is working. So basically you got a capability where the class zone capture coalition, the new constructor, needs actually two parameters. The first parameter is a zone of a zone object for the moment. And the second one is a coalition expression, which uses the structure coalition.side and then blue or red. Now what you need to do is you need to store the result of this new function into a variable, actually the object or the instance of the zone capture coalition class. And that value you can then use further to capture the ev different events and state transitions. This is an important sentence here. You need to ensure 
that this variable stays alive within your logic. If you nullify this or destroy this value and it gets lost in garbage collected within the Lua environment, then the processing will stop of this own capture coalition object. Guys, bear with me. This is important what I'm going to explain you. This is really key, otherwise you won't understand how you can capture the state transition and the event transitions. So let me explain this graph again, which I already have explained within the finite state machine presentation, but this is a summary. So basically what you have is when a transition happens from a state to another state due to an event that has been triggered within the finite state machine, you have actually four moments, moment one, two, three, four, that you can capture, that you can build your own logic upon. So you got two different kinds of handlers that you need that you can build. You got state handlers and you got event handlers. And as I said, those are basically functions or methods that are being defined within the object, in this case zone capture coalition blue, right? And you need to follow a, diff a specific syntax to ensure that once, for example, the guarded event, sorry, the guarded state, you know, is being uh, changed to another state, in this case, the on leave, so that when the on leave happens, so when you get from guarded to another state, then the first step would be the on leave method would be called. So you need to spell on, capital O, N, leave, and then the name of the state, and then, you know, two... Uh, uh, parentheses and the same for two but then you use on before which is an event handler so on before guard when guard would be fired you want to ensure that this function gets called first on after guard so when guard gets called when the event has been has happened then you can execute this function and this is one of the most used functions actually that you will see uh, being used and then you got on enter guarded meaning you know I got a state transition for example from captured to guarded so on enter guard it would mean that this function here would be executed and you can build for each state an event right that you have documented here you can build um, a an event handler or a state handler and this is really 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 powerful gentlemen so what you can do now is you can build your own logic on top of the current class and you can tailor the behavior on the different state transitions of a zone during a, a battle scenario. Now to be complete here you can as I said you, you can use parentheses but there are three optional parameters that you can that are being passed you know when the state transition happens and the event handler is cast, called there are three parameters that are being passed from event and to which contain the, the name or the string of the from state the event being triggered and the to state to where the transition will happen and you can use those to tailor the logic within your event handler or within your state handler in this example if from is guarded then do this right it's not not difficult, eh? but you just need to get a bit used to this syntax and the way how this coding works. And once you get that, this is going to be a fantastic asset for you to use. This is an example of how a complete uh, state transition method could look like. In this example, the onenter guarded, which takes the from and to uh, state and event. And I'm just comparing if the from state is not equal to the to state do this logic and what this logic does is it gets the coalition the owning coalition which is based you know self is basically representing the object zone capture coalition which has a method zone coalition gets coalition excuse me which returns the owning coalition up I'm, I'm having that here i'm debugging that within my log and then i'm testing if the coalition is blue then i am smoking a blue color within the zone and i am sending messages towards the uh, US and the Russian uh, coalitions and if it's red the other way then I'm coloring a red smoke and I'm sending messages again and this is just a small example of what you can do to tailor the behavior of the zone capture class okay 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a little demonstration and in further videos I'm going to extend the complexity of what you can do with this class. So let me get into a very short demonstration on how you can use the Zone Capture Coalition class. So basically what I have here is I have defined an attack zone which is a zone of 2000 meters and is of the red coalition. I got two objects in here, two BMPs, two, and I got around six uh, blue tanks that are going to attack this zone. They're going to eliminate those two tanks. And once those two tanks have been eliminated, then the zone will become empty. And what I want to do then is I want to fire off a white smoke within the center of the zone, indicating that the zone is free to capture it. Right, so I got here this demonstration mission, CAZ-100 Capture Zone, which is the first simple mission that demonstrate, demonstrates the zone capturing process. I just set up two command centers, which are basically units defined somewhere within the battlefield. And then I'm creating the object instance of the zone, attack zone, which was the trigger zone that I have defined within my mission. And here I'm using now the Zone Capture Coalition, which, by the way, is documented, right? So you can easily, you know, retrieve within LDT the explanation of this class. The new class has also been documented. So basically what you need to get here is the Zone Object, Attack Zone, and the expression of the coalition, that is, you know, the owning coalition of the attack zone, actually zone capture coalition, right? So the zone capture coalition, what it will do now is it will create a monitoring process and will start to check at regular intervals, you know, whether the attack zone is still of the red coalition, or whether it's empty, or whether it is attacked, or whether it is captured. For the moment it is guarded, meaning there are two red BMPs within the zone, so I'm triggering off the guard uh, method within one second. And the result of this trigger, of this event, and by the way, this is a delayed event, so you do um, underscore, underscore guard one, so you can, you know, you can trigger off the events that I've shown you within the flow, within the process flow, you can write and fire them off like this. If you want to fire them off immediately, you just do this, and you, you know, so you got two syntaxes here. This is what we call an asynchronous uh, fire off, and this is the preferred way of working, really. So it allows you to go through the complete initialization of your script and then start the process within one second. And now here is the interesting part. So when the zone gets empty, then I am, you know, then the object, let me explain this a bit in detail how this works. So you create a function, a method that is a child or a, you know, a method that belongs to the zone capture coalition object, which you defined here. So you're adding a, a function on this object. All right. And the zone capture coalition will search for, do I find somewhere an on enter empty method being defined within the object once the zone gets empty and if it does it will call this function and it will execute this code that you've written and this is basically smoking and by the way the intelligence has all that stuff you know documented right smoke color and then you can say why done now when you have that you can get back to your mission, you load the script, okay, save, and you play. Note that I've built this for demonstration purposes, so there is no real action from a player, it's just to show how the zone is working. So here we are, what this class does is, it will mark the place of the zone, the center, and it will say, this is of coalition red, this is a capture zone. You know, the task you need to do is capture the zone. Attack zone is the name. 
in the status of the zone currently is guarded. I got a couple of blue tanks here that are going to fire the red ones. Here they are. Right? So let me take this show and they are firing and you see the defenses of the other tanks the other BMP is firing off and un until yeah stupid truck until everything has been processed correctly then now you see there in the distance the white smoke appearing and let me click on that a bit it's here all right this is the white smoke that is currently firing off all right so this illustrates what we did here and let me get back to the to the mission as a closure is that when the zone got empty this function was called and I fired off this method smoke the zone alright so thank you very much for watching I hope this triggers you uh, an exciting new period within the Moose framework and I'm gonna make a couple of other videos to extend upon this and to explain you the other state transitions and and events that can be captured and other ways of dealing with you know some stuff that you can do capturing those events i hope the creativity of your mission design will greatly increase with this new class thank you for watching bye bye